Welcome ladies and gents, Mr. Visto here, and in this video I'm going to show you a build that I enjoy using on Ironbreaker. As always, a link to the Reynolds.gift build website will be in the description. So without further ado, let's start by looking at Ironbreaker's career skill and passive abilities. As we go through, I will put a picture up of each of these on the screen. So first off, Ironbreaker's career skill is called Impenetrable. Bard in taunts or nearby man-sized enemies. Gains increased defense and can block any attack for the next 10 seconds. Damage taken is reduced by 50% and block cost reduced to zero. The first passive for Ironbreaker is called Gromril Armor. This allows you to completely absorb one hit every 20 seconds. The next passive for Ironbreaker is Dwarf Forged. This reduces damage taken by 30%. Next up is Doughty. This grants an extra stamina shield, which is 2 stamina. Finally for the passive abilities we have Resilient. This decreases stun duration after getting hit by an attack by 50%. As you can see from the career skills and passives, Ironbreaker is the closest thing to a true tank that Vermintide has to offer. He can take an absolute beating while being able to dish out a fair amount of damage thanks to the Trollhammer on this build. Now let's have a look at our weapons of choice. For our melee weapon, I've gone with the Cog Hammer. I run this with attack speed, block cost reduction, and swift slaying. For the ranged weapon, I use the Troll Hammer. This thing is busted for dealing with high health pool targets like monsters and chaos warriors. On it, I run with power versus chaos, power versus armored, and conservative shooter. As I said, you want to use this mainly for the high health pool enemies and aim for the head. On the necklace, I'm using my usual plus 20% health, plus 30% block cost reduction and bark skin. On the charm, I have gone with power versus armored and plus 5% attack speed and proxy. Finally, on the trinket, I'm using plus 30% stam recovery, plus 30% revive speed and grenadier. Yes, grenadier can proc on your troll hammer shots. So if you hit a headshot and are lucky enough to have the Grenadier proc at the same time, you can actually get two shots refunded to you, making the Troll Hammer even stronger again. Also, I hardly ever run Revive Speed, and people may class it as a meme choice, but I have got a lot of value out of clearing space with one shot of my Troll Hammer, and then getting the revive super fast in clutch situations. That does it for the equipment, now for the talents. On the level 5 talent line, I have gone with Rockbreaker. Staggering an enemy with a melee attack grants temporary health. Health gained is based on the strength of the stagger. For the level 10 talent, I use Blood of Grimnir. Each nearby ally increases power by 5%. For level 15, I'm using Smiter. The first enemy hit always counts as staggered. Deal 20% more damage to staggered enemies. Each hit against a staggered enemy adds another count of stagger. Bonus damage is increased to 40% against enemies afflicted by more than one stagger effect. Now I see a lot of questions relating to what the stagger talents do and what is best. Personally, for 99% of the time, I will use Smiter as it gives you 20% more damage towards the first target hit in that attack. And because I mainly play Cataclysm with Twitch mode on, Bosses and Chaos Warriors need to be dealt with quickly and efficiently, so having that little boost to single target damage can really make a difference. But it would take far too long to explain all of the stagger talents here, so I leave that for a later date and a later video. On the level 20 talent line, I have gone with Grumrel Curse. When Grumrel Armor is removed, all nearby enemies are knocked back. You can use this in some really big brain ways, like purposefully getting hit to free a grab teammate or yourself, ledging a monster, or just to make space before reviving a downed friend. For the level 25 talent, I'm using the Rolling Mountain. Killing enemies with melee attacks while on full stamina reduces the cooldown of Impenetrable by 2%. Join hordes, you can farm your ult so fast it is ridiculous. Finally, for our level 30 talent, I have gone with Booming Taunt. This increases the radius of Impenetrable's taunt by 50% and increases the duration of Impenetrable to 15 seconds. And that does it for this Iron Breaker build. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know if you enjoyed it in the comments below. Check out the Discord to find more people to play with, as well as Twitch, where I stream every week, currently random times due to IRL things going on, but I will always ping on Discord when I am going live. But above all, keep slapping those rats.